Hello everyone, welcome back to this Microsoft Excel tutorial journey with me on my Knowledge Factor YouTube channel. This is the 21st session of this complete Excel tutorial journey and uh, today I'm here because I forgot something in the last video where we were talking about AutoSum. I gave you a couple of ways to do it. You could do it uh, on, a, on a single cell, right? hit the auto sum button you could select the range of the cell and do it right you can select the range of the cell and use the auto sum uh, that takes us back to the discussion about relative references because these are all the same it it always five cells up it's going to do the exact same thing across each of the ranges even that empty one uh, that i did if you remember you know how this total here was empty to begin with and uh, I auto sum it and it automatically grab the top five cells again it's all based on that relative reference and uh, using the first one as an example I'll just do the control Z uh, now the item that I forgot and I love this one I don't know how I let this one out but uh, but here it's own little video and uh, I'll make this really quick this is the auto sum shortcut key you you got a button here if you go to the formulas you got the button here but I love the keyboard shortcuts right my my hands are already on the keyboard when I go to the mouse and navigate the interface just use a shortcut key that's pretty easy for me so take a look at this I'm going to delete out the row here from here to here delete it and it's gone now I click to B9 this is my total for January now to auto sum that I can use a keyboard shortcut on my keyboard I'm going to hold down the alt key and then the equal symbol alt equals and that does the auto sum for me alt equals hit my enter key and I will jump over the next cell alt equals and does it for me super sleek super fast nice shortcut alt equals on my keyboard if I go to the formulas tab and hover over my mouse over the auto sum button it tells me it says hey automatically added up your total up here after this selected cell but here it tells me the shortcut as well I'm going to highlight it right there at the top left corner there you see some all plus the equal sign that's it so that's your shortcut key so try that one out get a little practice with it still something just another approach and a nice quick efficient way nice shortcut to complete the auto sum on a range of cells so we'll meet up on the next video thanks for watching this tutorial and as i always say if you really liked it and enjoying the journey then please do like share and subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon to get the latest content update on this channel Alright then, we'll meet up on the next session. In case you have any questions, any concerns, then do let me know on the comment section of this video. Till the time, goodbye and take care.